it's mid-October and I have been opening my nesting straws. Always love doing that, seeing what's inside. But a few of these, quite a few this year, because we had such a very, very wet, torrentially wet spring and fall here in Virginia. Uh, like I'm seeing a lot of this. These are some nice big female cocoons, but you can see they've got a lot of mold on them, the white, especially the three toward the left. The one on the right is actually covered with mites, which is unusual in my straws, but this one, usually the mites are confined by the uh, mud plugs, but somehow this cocoon, because it was way in the back, the last one in the straw, so that's covered in mites. So when that happens, it's very easy to fix. I just uh, make a little solution in a bucket. I add, I have about a one gallon of water in here, and I added one tablespoon of bleach, so one to one, and I'm just going to these, you know, I'm just going to throw these cocoons in there, believe it or not, because these they're made of silk and they're really very quite waterproof. So I've got mine divided into male, female, and horn face, which are non native. And so I'm going to just take them and I'm just going to dump them in. So I guess we'll start with these males. Water is just tepid room temp water, and I just use a little that little sieve, I gently, gently just try to get them moistened. And then all that mud and the feces and of course the mold just starts to disappear and you'll start, you can see already it's the, a lot of the mud and everything just drops to the bottom. I leave them in here for about two minutes or so, giving them a little gentle swishes. And then I turn the uh, water back on and I scoop some out like this and I just rinse them under some clean water. And then I blot them on some newspapers with some paper towels and let them dry real thoroughly. And they are good to go. So it's pretty easy. It's a pretty easy process. But it really makes a huge difference in the health of your cocoon so that next Next year, you won't have to deal with all that mess. I'll just turn on the water here. Get these guys a little rip. And over here to my paper towel covered newspaper, and out they go. healthy, mite-free, and fungus-free for next year. Okay, so there are my females. I've got them all cleaned up, and you can see somewhere in that bunch are the four that I showed you originally. And everybody's looking so nice and cleaned off now. Still not perfect, of course. There'll still be some mud and a little bit of feces there, but... Uh, Nothing to worry about, certainly no fungus. So next spring when they have to chew out of those cocoons, they're not going to have to chew into mites or fungus and they will emerge as much healthier bees. And you can see over here, in my bucket, all the, even from that little bit, you can see all the mud and mites and pollen and everything else that is collected in the bottom of this, this bucket. So makes it a lot, the environment a lot cleaner for their emergence next spring.